Highlight midweek, we had oil inventories today at 9.30 Central, and the highlight of this video, or of the room today, was, listen, I could show you these two charts, and most people wouldn't understand how to make heads and tails out of them. Forget about the potential support resistance levels with the reds and greens, and just focus on this. Oil had a big inventory number, meaning it was going to be watched, and a chance for oil to make a big move after it. Oil's been in the market. It's been a driver affecting equity prices the last 48 hours, essentially all week. So you get oil to run up from down here all the way up almost $2 after the number. Now, we don't know it's going to do that and how high it's going to go. Nobody does. But you can start to assign, hey, oil's strong, oil's rallying. And then it takes you over to this one which is the S&P minis, which is a lot of what a lot of people in our room trade. And there's no coincidence that it ran from here to here during the same period. So let me just make some illustrations. This, between those two circles, is essentially between these two circles over there. No coincidence, cause and effect. Oil prices, when they move a lot, generally influence stock index prices in the same direction. Rule of thumb, the faster and more oil prices move, the more and better chance they're influencing something else. The reason why, and I've said this before, is because the price of oil affects energy companies and energy companies affect the broader stock index. That's the rhyme or reason. Now, every little uptick and downtick in crude oil isn't going to give you an edge or an advantage. The overall picture does. There's no coincidence that on Monday when the May contract in oil was expiring and they stepped all over it and went negative, that equity prices went down and went down a lot. There's no coincidence that yesterday, the weakness in equity prices was tied to a 40, 50% decline in the June contract in oil. And there's no coincidence that they grabbed a little bit of bid today and oil's up 12%, 25% in the June contract and you got a 2% gain in the S&Ps and they're ready to make higher highs as we're talking. So that's the highlight. Not only how to take advantage of correlation, but knowing they exist, stay safe.